Hello and welcome to Creative Nerds. Today we have a quick tip to share with you on how you can create a retro vintage effect and apply it to your designs. So we're going to start off by grabbing a dark grunge texture which we downloaded from the internet from a website called Graphics Fuel. It has a ton of great textures so definitely check it out. Um, but you can pretty much use any texture, just have a search for dark grunge textures. Okay, so we're just going to grab this window and we're just going to grab this texture and add it to our canvas. So we can now minimize it. So we're going to start off by resizing the texture. So we're going to zoom out so we can see more of an overview of the whole canvas. I'm just going to resize it by dragging onto the corner anchor point to keep everything in proportion. Just make sure the whole element that you want to apply the vintage effect is covered. So what we're going to do is right click on that layer and select create clipping mask. And then we're going to change the blend mode to screen. And you can see that the Fitness Club logo has already started to have that vintage retro worn effect to it. So we're simply going to grab the burn tool and we're just going to, over some aspects of the logo, just make it slightly darker just to give that more of a worn effect, you know, just to make it look more of a vintage style logo design. Usually the edges would be more worn and more burnt, so just emphasize more when doing that. If you I like to blow out, burn out the whole logo just to make it a bit more vintage. Once you're happy with it, then your design is complete. You've applied a nice retro vintage effect to your design. I hope it's been a nice, handy, insightful, quick tip. A tutorial which you'll be able to implement into future design projects. Thanks for watching this quick tip and stay tuned to Creative Nerds for further tutorials on how to use Photoshop.